Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit. Today we will talk about an interesting topic called GRC. So GRC is the Governance, Risk and Compliance. Um, this is a little bit uh, conceptual topic uh, apart from that implementation. We will definitely go by implementation. But before that, it is a very conceptual topic. So G stands for governance, R stands for risk, and C stands for compliance. So what is the GRC? Uh, so G governance, risk, and compliance or GRC provide organizations the confidence and the tools they need to operate their business without overstepping regulatory bonds. So if you see here in the ServiceNow uh, images, what it is saying that this is the governance and oversights. And if you see, it's divided into two parts. One is the security operation, another is the GRC. And these governance uh, oversight is uh, managed through the dashboard reporting and analysis. We'll uh, understand a little bit in deep. So if you see here, the governance. So what is the governance? The framework of an organization activities and whether or not they are aligned with the business objectives Activities include the processes, structure, and policies are meant to manage and monitor combat. What is risk? A sustained process of addressing risk, mitigating risk through controls, and providing assurance that the risks are managed according to the policies. This includes the measurement of a risk, assessment, retentions, monitoring, and identification. What is the compliance? ensuring that activities within an organization operate in way that are aligned with laws and regulation. So if you see, think about I am running a IT training. So my business is a IT training business. My business is, uh, maybe my business is a related to the IT training. And here is the example for my case. So I am uh, in each batch, I am uh, 100 students, I am doing to administer so each batch I am doing 100 student and then rule number one what I am saying that daily one hour practice is the in the similar term. So I am really putting them the rule that daily you have to take a practice on that similar term. If five students are not taking regularly that's a risk for me. So that's a risk for me and then we'll monitor that and enforce them to take the similar term. So yeah, I just call them the five students that why you are not taking should have or uh, take the info. Um, I'm enforcing them to take that simulator. And once uh, this all process we are doing governance, and then once they are taking the simulator again, that they are becoming a compliance. Okay. So as I mentioned, the GRC is divided into the multiple application: the policy and compliance, risk management, audit management, vendor risk management. So these are the four parts that GRC is divided. So how GRC works? If you see in this image, this image is beautifully designed and shows that how the GRC works. Very first thing is the UCF repository. This is the starting point of this uh, image. So UCF repository, from that it's import the authority document. So what is the UCF uh, repository? We'll talk about. But you see a, a repository, think about a, its a external application. From there, we'll import the authority document. And from the authority document, it will automatically import the citation and policy statement. So these three things are automatically will be import from the UCA if you already import. Otherwise, you can manually create the authority document citation and the policy statement also. Okay. Uh, so this policy statement profile type profile and profile class are a little bit renamed policy statement is right now renamed as a control objectives profile class renamed with the entity class profile type is renamed with the entity type and then profile renamed with the entity so this all profile will change to the entities and the policy statement renamed as a control objectives so what is the UCF so UCF is nothing but a it's a repository where or it's a uh, you can say website where all the compliance documents are stored. So when so as I said I am running a business called IT training 
and this I T training, I have to regulate the I T uh, I T I S O certified. I maybe have to be I S O certified. For that, I have to be maintain the I S O two zero zero one regulatory, right? So these all the document are actually the re related I T related document are stored into the U C A repository. So if you come here, what it is saying that the what is U C A? U C A is a unified compliance framework. Is the world largest library database of interconnected compliance document and the world's only commercial available common control framework. So it is a compliance document database which is interrelated with each one, each other, and then uh, this uh, this unified compliance framework contains thousand mapped authority document and then uh, uh, lakhs plus individual mandates. Uh, 10,000 plus common control and two and a half lakhs are uh, interconnected words phases in the dictionary. So that's all about UCF. UCF you can think about it a repository which is holding all the um, document of authority document. Now going back to that how the UCF, this is common control website if you see here and this is how it looks like the common control and here all the documents are available. So if you go back to the home, uh, normally it has that authority document and that authority document uh, will be, I mean, all the authority list of authority documents you will be able to see. And right now I don't have any authority documents here. And these authority document will be worldwide available. You can import in your service now because Common Control Hub is a, I mean, this UCF uh, service now is a UCF partner. So all these document can be imported into the service now. Okay. So uh, this document will be uh, this uh, UCF document will be imported uh, into uh, service now and in a authority document and then this authority document will have many citation. What is the authority document? Authority document is nothing but a it's like a um, ISO. As I mentioned that. To run the IT training, I have to be maintained or I have to do the ISO certified 200 IT, ISO certificate 2001. That is the authority document. And this EIT or authority document have a many uh, many citations. Citation means that the sub breakdown of this authority document. So what I have to do that in this running the IT business, I have to be create a GST. I have to be maintain the student book list. I have to maintain the student registration process, student uh, uh, attendance, everything I have to maintain. These all are, we call the citation, okay? We'll discuss further, but I'll just give you the high level. And then this from the citation, we have a policy and policy statement or control, maybe policy statement are rename as a control object. So what is the policy? Policy is that uh, maybe these all um these all are it um um i have it iso certificate which have a hundred rules but for my organization it is only applicable for 10 rules those 10 rules are the my policy or my rules and then 10 rules have a breakdown so let's take an example of one of the policy called dress code the policy name is a dress code and the policy have a control objective or policy statement that Monday to Friday you have to wear the formal dress that is the one policy statement or one control object. Second control or second policy statement will be that uh, you have to wear the jeans so that could be another um, another dress codes related policy statement. Third uh, Saturday and Sunday you can wear uh, the t-shirt so that could be another policy statement. So a policy have a policy statement. Similarly, policy one policy statement can be related with other policy. So let's take another example that as I mentioned that Saturday Sunday you can wear the t-shirt. So if we have a policy called uh, Saturday Sunday or weekends uh, policy that can be also related with this policy and also it can be related with another policy called dress code. So policy statement can be Policy statement can be attached to multiple policy and policy can have multiple policy statement also. It's a vice versa M to M relationship. We'll discuss this further, but uh, let's take example that what are the plugins we need to be installed for uh, GRC. The first plugin we need to be installed that policy and compliance management. 
second is the compliance UCF so this is optional if you if you want to uh, integrate with your UCF then you can install this one then these are the advanced risk management audit management audit uh, management dependency and uh, advanced dashboard I cannot install the vendor uh, risk management because it's a um, stored application so I cannot show demo on your uh, out of box uh, the demo instance so that's it for today uh, that how the GRC looks like or what the GRC all about we'll talk further the in the next session we'll talk we'll show some demo and we'll install some plugin and we'll work on that thank you very much have a great day